Well, we are outside today yes. and it's that time of the year where we're all anxious to get outside and start having outdoor dinner parties. Mm -hmm. We both love to entertain outside. So we have some tablescapes that we wanna show you today. And this one right here is our Fiesta tablescape. Yes. Kind of a mild Fiesta, right? Yes. Not over yes. the top, but yeah. just colorful and pretty. Cheery, fun, and yeah. bright, bright for daytime. Uh, we'll just grill up some carne asada, and we have our chips and guacamole, and of course our margaritas. Oh, for sure, you gotta have margaritas. So we got all the food taken care of, but the decor has been really fun to do for this one. We started off with our vases that we just sliced some limes and outlined the first vase in and then put a similar size, uh, just a little bit smaller in between and put the flowers in those and look at this wonderful arrangement. Yeah, so it kind of pulls off of the theme of margarita, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, with all the limes and then of course the colors just relate to the limes so beautifully and the guacamole and the salsa and it's kind of Some all there. Some citronella candles. Yeah, and then we got these great citronella candles um, that are so pretty. I mean, yep. they look like Mexican pottery yes, almost. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We have a bamboo mat that gives it that natural element. Yeah. And then these multicolored um, Chilliwick uh, placemats that just give all the different colors into them, but also just soften the gray um, of the aluminum table. And then layer it up the napkins, the plates, the glassware, making it really fun, light and bright. We did use uh, regular dinnerware out here. We didn't use melamine. Um, we do have a tablescape for you that has melamine as yes. well. But we just thought this was so lovely with all the glass and the white yeah. and just crisp. And then we've got our margarita glass and then our water glass. We kept both of them low. So they're kind of understated on the table. Yeah. And everything really on this tablescape is on the lower side. So it doesn't distract your view from exactly. each other, which is really nice. Sometimes we like the drama of something higher, but um, keeping it low in daytime just seems very casual and fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you know, with the candles, you can go into the night. So yeah. you can start out in daytime, go into the night. Every fiesta does, right? Oh, of course, like, after all those <laughs> margaritas, I'm here all night. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then in the background, we, put a beautiful bouquet of flowers that has the same flowers as our table vases, yeah. but it just gives, sets the mood for the whole dining space. Yes, yeah, and just gets that cohesive look, and it's a grander scale, so um, it's nice to have it in the foreground. So are we missing the some background. Tejano music? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, where's our mariachi band? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, now we're on to the next. Yes. So for this tablescape, we chose kind of a mid-century feel. We love the pop of color that we found on these napkins and we used that for our inspiration, which is kind of what has guided us through a lot of our tablescapes. Yeah, for sure. Either napkins or placemats, one or the two. And this one is a much more simple yeah. compared to the other two that we did. Yeah. Less stuff on the table, just more casual, I would say. Um, we it's got like a these. nice like little dinner party or you know just yeah. something like sleeker about this. Yeah, you know? I love it. I love the black and the yellow. Yeah. How it just popped. I know, right? And then there was these great little mid-century pots that have little faces on them, which is this iconic mid-century. Yeah. And we just potted those with some plants. So those, yeah. I mean, you could put candles in there or whatever, but we just thought that would give it some greenery and give it that kind of earthy feel again. And these you can put in your yard. So yeah. if you have flower pots, um, you can repurpose these, put them in your flower pots. Uh, I think that's where they're the prettiest actually. Yeah. Or you can put them in your flower beds. Either way is yeah. fine. And then we popped a floral arrangement in the back as well, just so it kind of sets the mood. Yeah. yeah, and here's another Centronella candle. It's just a plain old Jane white votive. Yep. But that's all you kind of need, just some simple, yeah. simplicity is a good thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then we got this really cool, uh, mid-century craft and it just has lemonade in it. And then we just kind of put the baguettes over here on the end, literally just laid them on the table. Kind of give it that rustic, outdoorsy yeah. kind of feeling. You just pull it apart. Paired with our salad we just got done making and this is just a nice light alfresco kind of night. So we have one more great table we want to show you and this one is more, has a French theme to it and so we're calling it Girls Night Out. So that's next. 
We were inspired by the napkins for this table design. So we took the napkins as the color scheme and played off of that. We got this amazing runner. It's a very nice neutral with the pop of black in it. And we kept the color to the napkins and the accessories and just layered everything up from there. Yeah, we chose the color hot pink that's in the napkins, which is also very girly, right? And felt very French girls night out. So that's where these uh, Gerber daisies came in and we brought the pink in with those. And then it also has a beautiful green in it. So we made sure that we brought in that green in our floral arrangement. And then we popped a floral arrangement in the back as well just so it kind of sets the mood for the space. Yes, these amazing um, chargers here add some texture to the metal table and gives it a little bit of you know earthiness with the black melamine plate. So that's really great for outdoors. Yeah. Um, and then our silverware and our kind of smoky glasses also is a moody touch. And also um, acrylic. Yes. So they're outdoor glasses. No party fouls happening on girls' night. Nope, nope, <laughs> not at all. And then we have, you know, just for more decor, we put in some Himalayan salt. You know, a French design wouldn't be French without birds. Yes. So we put a couple birds in they're here, so kind of. And then our, our candles. So these candles are um, battery operated candles. So they're flameless candles. This is a really cool way to um, display your beverages, right? So one's water and then the other one is rosé. And these are just so cute and they just pop up and then you can just serve them around the table. It makes it really easy yeah. to use. This is just an, a Paris inspired French themed um, tablescape that we thought was really girly and fun and festive. And we're gonna have the girls over and enjoy some rosé and cheese. We have some French bread and some cheese and fruits we're good and to apples. Go. Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> So we hope that today's videos inspired you on your next outdoor party and entertaining. Uh, we know there's quite a few occasions coming up, so um, we hope that this helps give you a little extra idea to run with. Um, we really enjoy that you have followed us and we'd love if you could like and subscribe. It really helps support our channel and helps us continue on. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you.